Hello and welcome to the 97th episode of the Sock Bunny Knit and Fit video podcast. My name is Kimberly, also known as Sip. I almost said my name is Kimberly, also known as Sarah. Woo. My name is Kimberly, also known as Sock Bunny. My name is Sarah, also known as Kimberly. <laughs> Today is uh, Friday, July 12th, 2013. I'm recording in sunny Florida in the United States of America. <laughs> We're already off to a good start. <laughs> I wanted to show you my spinning for the last couple of days. Um, I have spun two ounces towards my sweater. And you can see it's pretty thin. Like I said, this is pretty thin for me. Yeah. Yeah, pretty thin. So I'm really happy with how this is going. And I'm going to spin another two ounces on another bobbin, and then I will apply those four uh, ounces together. So, And this is where I'm spinning for a sweater. Once I finish the next two ounces, I'll have eight ounces done, and I'll be halfway done because I'm going to try to spin 16 ounces. What do you think? Cool. Yeah. Sarah Crochets. She learned how to knit, and then she learned how to crochet, and she decided she liked crocheting better. It's faster. It's faster. I don't have time. Oh, we should have brought over your bag that you made. Oh, uh, next time. Next time. Yeah, she crocheted a really cool bag using a bunch of scraps. So, that's pretty cool. Okay, so today we are going to talk about the prizes that they win during Tour de France. The prizes during Tour de Fleece. There are actually prizes. Oh, no way. What'd you get? I haven't gotten anything. Oh. I didn't know, I'm not entering any contests this year, but they do have um, a lot of teams on Ravelry. And there's like, uh, every day there's a general thread and you could post your finished spinning and then they just randomly draw a winner. And, but that are has you like, going to give away prizes? This year, no. I would do it next year, though. Why not? You should write her a long email. <laughs> Anyway, maybe next year. Next year. Because next year I won't do uh, Sock Stravaganza <gasps> at the same time. I'll still do it. I'm just not going to do it at the same time shame, as the tour. Shame, shame. Anyway. So, uh, there, but you could win prizes if you join the team on Ravelry and then uh, like different podcasters or different, uh, like, um, for example, maybe the manufacturer of your spinning wheel might have a group on Ravelry and they'll be giving away prizes. There's a lot of different ways cool. to win prizes for Tour de Fleece. Okay, so Tour de France. Tour de France. Um, this information I'm about to tell you is from a website called bikeradar.com. So the uh, first prizes I will talk about are for the jerseys because as I've mentioned before, there are four jerseys that they can work for. I got a feeling for Rachel. She's got more dynamics than I do. Rachel would be like, who? Who? Four? So, the yellow jersey, which, as we talked about before, is for the lowest accumulated time. So, each of the 21 stages, they add up their time, and whoever has the lowest at the very end of all 21 stages, he wins the yellow jersey competition and he wins 450,000 euros yeah but evidently they split that among the team oh lame anyway that's just the prize i'm not sure if they get paid by anybody else or whatever you know sponsors or whatever Probably. and then the green jersey which is the person who has the highest number of points for sprints is uh, going to get 25000 And who would we want to win for that? Who's winning? Who do we want to win for that? She likes Cavendish. But Sagan is currently... No, no. You only like him because he wears green. Yeah, well, that's I, my favorite color. He wears lime green. There um, you go. That's not the only reason I like him, but I do like him. That's the only reason she likes no, him. No, it's not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then also the polka dotted jersey, which is for the highest number of points uh, for reaching the tops of mountains, is 25,000. And then the white jersey, who is the rider with the lowest accumulated time under 25, the age of 20, what, 25 and under, so under 26. Stop with the faces. 
uh, he wins 20,000. So uh, there's a couple of things that I didn't know about that I learned from this uh, website. One is uh, a team competition. And th this competition I'm reading from, like I said, bikeradar.com. It's based on adding the team, the times of each team's first three finishers at every stage finale. The winning squad will have, wait, the winning squad with the lowest accumulated time will take home $50,000. I didn't know about that. So that's nice. the team competition. So the first three finishers at every stage. Cool. I didn't know about that. Did you know about that? Nope. 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 And then um, there's one called Most Aggressive Rider. And... I did not know this. I never noticed noticed it. We're going to have to look for it. Evidently, one of the writers um, will have a red race number. Huh. And it denotes that they were the most aggressive writer the previous day, based largely, largely on the amount of time they spent in breakaways. However, it also has a subjective element and an eight-person jury of cycling experts uh, conclude on winners. So that's something a jury cool. decides. Cool. Lots to notice. I know. Tonight. I know. And at the end of the 21 stages, the jury awards 20,000 uh, euros to the uh, super combative writer. Cool. Didn't know that. Didn't know that yet. Okay. So, anything else you want to say? Bye. That's not what we say at the end of the podcast. Uh, I forgot. <sighs> She's never going to teach us anything. Rachel can't remember. How do you think I'm going to remember? Okay. Anyway, this is my daughter, Sarah, that I talk about all the time. She lives in Rhode Island. She's going into her senior year of high school, uh, college. <laughs> no. Senior year of college. And she's gonna. She's almost 21, just a few weeks away. Yikes. And she's home and uh, for a couple of weeks, and then she's leaving on Sunday night. So I'll be crying. Sunday night, if you hear, <laughs> that's me. <laughs> So you can send her nice um, messages of consolation. Yes, because I'll be sad. It's okay. Don't uh, Rachel see, she's will be the sweet here. One. She's the sweet one. Rachel will be here to console you. Um, so, okay. You might want to start those emails now. <laughs> I'll be fine. John John's here. Yes, John John's here. <laughs> That's not much help you there. Write your emails, please. <laughs> she needs all the help she can get. Okay, so um, I am not going to record on Saturday or Sunday, since those nah, are Sarah's. Those are Sarah's last two days here. But Monday, the fifteenth, I will do a regular episode. A regular episode. Well, as regular as my episodes could possibly be. So I will see you guys on Monday. So keep on spinning. Have a great evening and keep on crafting. Bye. <laughs>